we finally got the fight that we've been waiting for. Jujutsu Kaisen Chapter 229 is out. And let me tell you this. This chapter is immaculate. In the last chapter, we saw that Satoru nose has begun to bleed. Something that you took question because in normal circumstances, he wouldn't even be able to get touched, let alone have a nosebleed. And once again, they opened their domain expansion. But let me tell y'all something real quick. This is the sixth time that they opened their domain expansion. I mean, six times, bro. That crap is wow. Most sorcerers have a hard time opening two domain expansions in one night, let alone six of them in the same exact day. That lets us know that Satur and Sukuna are on a whole otherworldly level. They literally open their domains at the same time again. Something that obviously Yuji points out because, you know, Satoru is his sensei. And I got to say that I am truly loving the banter between the character. Because the question is asked, I think it was either Angel or Hanami. But the question is asked, did Sukuna always know how to use RCT to heal out his burnt out curse technique? Or did he just learn it? And then somebody also point out how many times are we going to say the word curse technique? I love every second of it. But I will summarize that Sukuna must have just learned it because in his era, the Heian era, he was the strongest sorcerer in that era. And not many people would survive malevolent shrine attack after he activated it. So I think he just learned it. And Gojo, I will summarize, is the first person to survive Malevolent Shrine. Kusukabe points out in the three minutes that Gojo activates his domain that he needs to damage Sukuna to the point where he can no longer use his domain. But Shoko has a lot of faith in Gojo because of their childhood and how she grew up with Satoru. So she believes that if Unlimited Void hits, then Sukuna will be a goner. All it takes is three minutes, which we end up seeing them fighting inside Gojo's domain where they're using hand-to-hand -hand combat with my boy Gojo tossing Sukuna around like a rag doll. And I got to say that Sukuna, who's the king of curses, is literally getting disrespected right now because Gojo is tossing him all around, up and down, body slamming him, all, all in the domain, is all in the domain, to the point where their domain barrier breaks again, where once again, Sukuna is damaged. But as you know, the King of Curses is actually smiling while after just getting his butt whooped in Gojo's domain. And that's when everybody starts getting excited. I don't know why, but everyone is getting excited, believing that Gojo can win. And for the seventh straight time. Seven times, bro. They just opened up their domains. Satura has a strategy, and it's obvious what the strategy is to get Sukuna to get hit by Unlimited Void. And Yuta explains that Satoru expanded his domain a little bit faster than Gojo. I mean, Sukuna, which is ended up being correct because Sukuna was in the middle of healing himself and opening his domain, something that's kind of hard to do. And in 0.1 second, that's all it took for Gojo's Unlimited Void to hit. And while Unlimited Void is hitting, Sator ends up crushing Sukuna's heart. And I don't know about you guys, but shouldn't Sukuna be dead after this? I mean, I know that he ripped out Yuji's heart and was able to survive, but that was when he was pretty much a cursed spirit. He's inhabiting a human's body. But, hey, it is what it is on that part. And his shrine ends up collapsing inside Gojo's barrier, which I think is really cool because now that his shrine is is destroyed, and he's trying to crush his lungs, liver, trying to bring this dude to the close of death like he did Yuji Itadori. But, you know, it's... This chapter is going too good. Like, like everything right now is going Satoru Gojo's way. And we finally get it. I'm so hyped for this. We finally get the moment we all been waiting for. The appearance of Maharaga. 
who obviously is really, really big compared to Gojo. I didn't notice that my he's that big, which is funny. Um, but we also know that this is not really a, a butt pull because Megumi did something similar where in chapter 154 when he hit his shadow to infiltrate the fight club. So him hiding his shadow, hiding the wheel in the shadow is truly possible. And during that, uh, during the fight that Go Gojo was getting ready to one shot him, Maharaga destroys the unlimited void barrier. And in the process of destroying the unlimited void barrier, it surprised Gojo because Gojo's like, how's he destroying this? And we learn, we obviously see that he adapted to unlimited void, which is crazy that he already had adapted to it. And he had a big old smile on his face, Maharaga. So I don't know about you guys. I'm really hyped. There's no chapter next week, but I, I can't wait for the next chapter when it comes out. Also, if you enjoy content like this, just leave a like on the video actually give 10 10 likes on the video and i know that you guys enjoy this also do not forget to subscribe to the channel and also when you guys subscribe to the channel hit the notification button the little bell button on the top right screen and when you hit that be part of the notification village and i will catch you guys on the next video peace out y'all